having problems with your Caternix quail getting scalped and all the feathers on the back of their heads getting picked off? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video, what causes it and what you can do about it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Got one of my uh, Caternix quail hens right here. You can see the back of her head, if she'll turn her head for us to see. Come on, babe. There you go. See the back of her head right there has been scalped and picked pretty much clean of feathers. So uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity since I get a lot of questions about this. What causes that and uh, what can you do about it? Let me put her up real quick and we'll get to talking. Alright, let's start this off by talking about what causes the uh, the, the birds to get scalped anyway. Most of the time that's your hens that are getting scalped. Uh, they just basically get all the feathers pulled off the back of their head and it's because during breeding the males when they mount the females they grab them by the feathers on the back of their head and pull on them. Most of the time it's not going to be an issue. You're not going to notice, I mean that's common behavior. It happens every time they breed but you're not going to notice the birds being scalped by that. There are times where it may get out of hand and it, and it leads to scalping the birds. Though. One of those times would be when the birds first hit sexual maturity when uh, they first start crowing and they you know they get overly excited and they're just overbreeding the females too much pulling the feathers out of the back of their heads um, the other most common situation that causes that is too many roosters in your flock um, so if you have anything more than one rooster for every four hens like if you go one to three one to two or one to one Sometimes you can get away with one to three, but anything less than that, if you do one to two, one to one, you're almost certainly going to have problems with uh, feathers getting pulled out of the back of their heads because the females are just getting overbred. Um, so the best thing in that situation would be reduce your roosters or add more hens so that they have more, more hens to breed and they're not focusing on just the same couple of hens all the time and pulling the feathers out of the back of their head. Okay, now that's the most common reason why that might happen. Uh, there are other things that can cause the same kind of thing that's very similar but not exactly the same. You may have roosters that have the feathers pulled out of the back of their heads and usually that's going to be more like all around their face and their neck and maybe the back of their neck as well, not just that strip on the back of their head. And that's generally, again it goes back most of the time to having too many roosters in your flock because they start competing with each other over who's going to get to breed the hens and they'll peck at the eyes, sometimes they'll put an eye out, sometimes they'll kill a bird, they'll peck on the back of the head, cause it to bleed, they'll pull all the feathers out of their face. Um, that's just fighting and dominance between the males trying to be dominant over another. Same thing, if you have too many roosters in there, uh, the hens may get aggressive with the roosters because they're getting bred too much and they tend to kind of fight back just a little bit. And they'll go the same kind of thing, they'll pull the, 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 the feathers out of their face, they'll peck them in the back of the head, peck them in the eyes, and those kinds of problems can occur. So generally speaking, too many roosters is the root cause of almost all of those kinds of problems. There's one other situation though where it tends to happen, well, not just one, there's a couple, but one of the most common things is if you've got birds that are unfamiliar with each other and you combine them together, you may have your rooster to hen ratio just right, but if they're all brand new to each other, or if you've added, say, five birds from one flock to five birds from another flock, there almost always is going to be some fighting that goes on there, and they will pick on each other to establish a pecking order. They may even kill one of the birds. They may put an eye out. They, the same kind of thing is going to happen. That just almost always happens whenever you throw a new bird in or new birds in with an existing flock. Sometimes if you mix them at even numbers, five and five, you can kind of avoid that a little bit. But because you know they're all kind of new to each other, um, but if you just throw like two birds into an existing flock of ten, they're almost always going to single those birds out and pick on them and, and maybe even kill those birds. It's very difficult to mingle birds together when they're not familiar with each other. So that's another reason that that could be happening. Uh, one other reason that that could be happening is sometimes you just get an aggressive bird. There's no other reason why they would be picking on each other. They're just aggressive. And if that's the case, if it's one bird causing the problems and picking on, on the other birds, then your best bet is to just call that one bird. So anyway, that's the situation I'm in right now. I've got too many roosters in this um, pen, so that's why uh, the females are getting scalped. Really, there's nothing you have to do about it. Just reduce your rooster count, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have dinner and uh, eat my smallest roosters in here, leave the biggest ones around to pass their genes on, and uh, all their feathers are, will grow right back. It's, you don't have to worry about it. It's nothing that's going to kill the bird or hurt the bird or injure the bird or anything like that. They get along just fine, even though they've had the feathers pulled out of the back of their head. Not that big of a deal. 
So hopefully that clears some things up for you guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And if you uh, joined me on my Thursday night live broadcast last week, um, as I promised, I'm going to take you in. We're going to show you the uh, week old baby chick. So stick around for that and uh, we'll take a look at how they're doing. All right, as promised, if you guys came in on the Thursday night live broadcast, we, I couldn't quite get a good signal in here, so we couldn't see the babies, but here they are. Um, I can't remember exactly how many there are in here, but there's a bunch, and uh, most of them look to be jumbo pharaohs. Some of these are going to be celadon egg layers, have no way of knowing which ones they are, um, but I've got some silvers in here as well. You can see a silver one right there. Um, there's a couple of them mixed in right there, and a couple of what look like Italians, little speckled uh, birds in there, so it'll be interesting to see these guys as they grow out. They're a week and a half old right now. Um, I'm using sand in the brooder box right here, and... You know, it's actually working pretty well. It gets a little nasty, but you just kind of uh, scoop it out like with a kitty litter scooper, and, um, and that's actually working pretty well. It's staying a little bit cleaner than using like newspaper or shavings or anything like that. So anyway, that's about all there is to these guys. Um, if you want to see more of these guys, let me know in the comments below, and I'll uh, keep up with them as they start growing out and go out to the grow out pen here in about two weeks. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, Hit that subscribe button down there. Stay up with my content. And uh, as always, guys, God bless.